All right, Silver Crown time. We're doing another season of this on Sunday nights. Looks like we got 18 cars tonight. I am the number two. Um, really struggling to keep heat out of the right rear. And I'm worried that uh, it's going to go really bad for us. So, hope not. I hope we can keep it going in the right direction and not have to pedal it too much. I've tried a bunch of different things in order to solve the issue, but it doesn't seem like I can get it to calm down on corner exits, so I'm going to just have to be careful. Uh, I'm trying something else out that's probably a dumb idea. Because I feel like at 1.5s we always kind of get slower as the race goes along. And with these tighter turns here, I feel like the corner speeds are going to drop even more. So I've went a click uh, shorter on the gear to help me pull out of the corners a little bit better. Should help on restarts as well. Also change the paint scheme colors. Not that it's all that different, same scheme, just different colors, because uh, why not? And, uh, well, we got Shane in here. He's the number four, should be quick. Make sure everyone else's schemes are loading up. And, uh, yeah, will be an interesting race, because we got quite a large field here. So, um... I think we're going to be okay in qualifying. I think I can go top five, even just on the race set. Like, the race set feels very fast. Uh, so, I'm a little bit worried, again, that I'm just going to be too loose. But, just going to have to condition the right front and try not to get on the right rear too much, maybe run up half a lane for a bit, starting out with positive 10 weight jacker, so uh, throwing everything at it I can to try to make it tight, and then hopefully once it does get tight, I have room to work to make it loose. Uh, fuel burning. Not actually the thing that people are doing. I learned this from the forums, which is good because I'm someone that can be given information, learn from it, and go, okay, cool, I understand that. That makes more sense than sitting there trying to burn 0.2 or 0.5 gallons of fuel. It's, uh, well, you can't see it here, but let me move that over. I didn't realize that that was uh, Alt-K. Makes you be able to move these. Um, what people are doing is getting their engine temp up because at the tracks that you flat out, apparently the engine temp plays a key role. I will be asking iRacing to just give us prepped engines so that uh, people don't have to sit there and run on 6,000 RPM on pit road for three minutes just to get a little bit extra speed. Because now that they've got the tire prep and all flag, of that flag. for standing starts, I don't see why they can't do that for qualifying. Boy, alright, car is much tighter than it was in practice. I'm just going to use this as a throwaway lap. Try to get a run. Hopefully, we can hear it. One more lap. Hit the end of the gearing. 29.861. Okay, we're good there. A little bit of break just to bring it down. Rear end should start kicking out, but it didn't. That's fine because we got grip up off of two. And 
that was not a good lap. That was not a good lap at all. The flag. It's all I hope on. everyone else sucked. They didn't. Too tight. Too tight and overconfident that my race setup was fast. That's fine though. That's going to just help me keep it slower while we're sitting in the middle of the pack. Just got to survive. What fun stuff are people doing out here? Looks like everyone's going. So we just got a couple of people left. Yep. And we got two people that are not in here, so that's going to slow things down and we're not going to be able to move forward. Have to wait the whole minute, whatever. So, 75 laps. I've got enough fuel in it. We're good there. Looks like these guys are just doing practice laps because. They're not set in times. And then the bottom two, uh, I don't know what they're doing, but now we gotta wait because they're not in here and iRacing's qualifying system for moving forward to the race is annoying. So we got quite a few names that we don't see or I don't remember from previous season so we'll see how this goes uh, not a whole lot of I rating out here so I can feel 2200 I are I guess 12th place is 2100 so it's actually not terrible but fifth place is 2,500, so everybody here is just on top of each other on I rating. So, Shane gets the pole, Sean up front, we're way in the back, well, middle, and hopefully we can survive the start and find. Find a little pace. If it goes green the whole way, we might be in a little bit of trouble. If there's an early caution, we're Estimate also going to be in a little bit of trouble. 2,299. What I need to do is just pace myself. Keep it clean. The DNF today would hurt our points a lot. Get up into the top five and then hope that there's a yellow. But, yeah, big field, single split. But single splits and silver crown are just fine. Five cars left to grid. We do have one, maybe, maybe one. Let me see. Yeah, we got one person. Still waiting on two cars to grid. That There's no tie changes allowed during this race. Treat we'll them keep right. An eye on good luck. Them because that could be where the crash is. Looks like everyone else pretty safe, but it's a big trek going fast with a car that does weird things, so One left to green. Line up on the, inside. the wreck could come closed. from anywhere, especially with prediction code. I think what 
you're most likely going to see, based off of Seven. what I'm feeling in the car, is someone's going to get loose off a of two, overcorrect, and people are going to get caught up in that. Or they're just going to self-spin to the inside. Later in the race, people are probably going to be knocking the wall down out of four. And then you always have the chance of clipping the apron, um, especially on the front stretch if you're Back following green, someone close. That apron on the front stretch will send you because you're not off. expecting it. But it's a harsh, harsh transition. Green flag, green flag. Shane gets a good jump, Sean. Not able to get down. He should be able to in the middle of one or two. I kind of drifted up there for no reason. I don't know why I did that. Let's back it off a little bit here. It's probably confusing everyone, but... Looked like there was going to be a bit of a checkup. Everyone trying to get down. And I don't know how tight it's going to go. Point four, two, one. Yeah, I'm already getting that loose off the bottom of two, so I need to just run a little bit higher. That's going to open the door for Steven. I'm not going to worry about it. It looks like we got a gap. Maybe I can fall in. And if not, we'll just continue to go backwards because there is a gap a couple of car lengths back, or a couple of cars back. But I'm really worried as much as it's wanting to do that, that I'm not going to be able to keep the right rear on it. Point nine nine two. The car in P four just set the fastest lap. Twenty nine point five four seven. Yeah, I'm struggling to get the car to get off the corner. Was watching some videos of the in car of a real life Silver Crown at Gateway, the current car. Annoyingly, though the like camera and whatever utility they're using to put it together is like 720 at best. But uh, it was interesting to see how much even that car with the less downforce, how much it kind of drives like these do. Got some super modified ones in car as well. Cockpit of those looks like a P51. Just reminds me of that, kind of like the Lotus 79, just that old tech, old school look. But I mean, this thing's got a trailer clearance light on it, so um, that's that's some different tech. Isn't that for the yellow light? If they redid these on dashes, it'd be all digital now. So far, good clean racing. Chain's pulling away a little bit. I feel like I'm doing okay with my right rear. I just need to not be low off the two. I can start working the weight jacker. We've got the wheel. I don't really like how it's set up, but I didn't want to play with it too much. It's constantly turning left. I think that might be causing a bit of my issue. Because I'm used to going to center off the corner. 
This race is going to go by fairly quick, though, if we're doing green flag laps, so... Let's see if we can move up ahead of the 11. He's not really closed in. Problem is, my gearing, that brilliant idea in the draft is kind of hurting me, but it should help us get runs off the corner. Still there, hold your line. Clear. Looks like he's just going to give us a spot. Let's keep the right rear from getting too hot. That is the goal. But I feel like everyone's starting to get into the little bit of a handling phase right now. We're still not going very fast, which worries me. But it is much hotter than it was in practice. Steven might have got the wall behind us. Alright, that's the first time I felt it tighten up, but I was also going deeper into the corner and running a higher line. Yeah, this gearing might be useful off the corner. Alright, that's up to seventh. Looks like Shane has been caught a bit. I do feel like I'm starting to get a bit of right front wear. Calm down my exits. So it is Shane and Sean. Brett is in fourth. I'm struggling to over grip off. like Shane is starting to struggle off the corner as well. He's on a different set. He's lost the lead there. He may be on the same base set. I don't know, but um, he definitely had a little bit of a wiggle it looked like off the team, possibly. They are all packed up though, and I'm going to lose the draft. I mean, we've essentially lost the draft, but we should be going faster than them. Thirteen point one. 
Seven. One. Let's take it down to the yellow line. See if I can get any speed. No. Nope. Get a big nose shove and then it snaps out on us, but they're going to do some side-by-side -side here, so that's going to hold them back to us. Second, so that we have a little bit of draft. Point one five three. Sean's not been able to pull away. thing off into the corner. No, that is not helping us. It feels like we're getting closer, but the numbers say otherwise. Let's figure out what the quickest way is. off, slow around the yellow line. Luckily they're all starting to trip over each other again at the very front, so... Uh, apron not good. Wall not good. Brett's coming back to give me some draft. I don't know if he got worried by the blinking guy or if he's starting to have some handling issues. Ooh, Shane's having some handling issues, as am I. Seven, but further away from the lead. These are spread out. Oh yeah, people are starting to really overheat. We're not even close to halfway, just past the third. Seeing those big slides makes me feel a little bit better about where I am and what I'm complaining about. But the top three are checking out. 
Ahead, might have got the wall. help me off the corner because I'm not so tight. We're at positive 10. We're at positive 4 now. Shane going back for the lead. Oh, and Sean and Shane come together, and they may both have damage, hopefully not. Look like Sean got loose up high, or maybe bounced it off the wall, I don't know. Loosening this up in the center of the corner massively helped. But it's also kind of deceiving because they all slowed each other down up there, so. But it's helped me enter the corner a little lower as well. Balance feels good right now. We don't need to push it too hard because this pack does not look fun to be in. to positive 10 just to keep it tight since we're going to be coasting here. Looks like everything has slowed down quite a bit. Shang snagged the wall off the corner. Alright, positive six, positive ten was too tight.
pull at the end of the straight because of the RPMs, but I feel like we're pulling better off the corner. Shane might have some damage. This is certain to drop, but leaders also look like they're getting white. Done what I needed to so far with the lead group. I feel like I understand what the car wants. Now I just gotta find track position. And leader is checking out. Sean is falling off. Shane is back up to him. Ten cars about to hit the wall. And we have pulled away from everyone behind. Gonna start getting to lap traffic though. Kinda surprised it took this long with how far behind 8th place is. And 16th has pulled on to pit road, so we will not get lap traffic. Oh my god, stop hitting the apron. Cloud cover. Track temp was up to 108. Let's see if it drops. Speed has picked up though. So now we're running out of gear again. Big, big moment for Shane. He holds on to it. Well, maybe he holds on to it. That off to wiggle. Alright, so third place, high probability now. Win does not look possible unless the leader just falls off like crazy. same idea there. I just wanted to be a little bit higher so I could cut down easier off the corner if needed. Yeah, we're not fast. I'm definitely missing a bit of something here, but we've still got a ways to go. Could be some more fall off and more issues. Let's try take the wage actor lower. Slammed on 
throttle too hard. 30.27. Slower off the corner. Let's see if we can follow Brett through. It'll be a late dive there, but then Brett hits the apron on entry, and I have to come to a complete stop. And now we don't get the swap. Better in the center. Car outside. Stay low. Still there, hold your line. Keep low. Don't know how we didn't make the pass completed there. 30.361. Clear outside. Car outside. Brett left the door open line. and storming on through so we're all over the fucking place though all righty can we catch up to Shane Entry up. Weight jacker down to zero now. Still too early. Let's hold it at this position. Full throttle does nothing for us until we get off the corner. It's 
bobble there. Car's feeling good. 30.337. We're just really good off the corner. attempt and we should be able to pull away off the corners Another. Still there, hold your line. Thirty point four zero six. You're now in third. Still there, hold your line. Outside is clear. Just throttle control off the corner right now. That's the biggest thing. We might be the fastest car on track at this point. But we had don't have any time, so. 109, so cloud is not helping. Leader is up in the wall. What? What was that? That was some weird stuff. That's the apron. It's turning too good. Get off my ass, Shane. Wanted an easy run to third here. We're not catching these guys. Unless lap traffic gets crazy. Alright, we gotta go back to zero. 
it's getting too loose off the corner or I'm trying too hard or something. Shane's figured how to get off the corner. Inside, inside. Still there, inside. Clear. He had a moment. <sighs> Calm the fuck down on the throttle. I was doing perfectly fine. We just need to pull away from Shane. It's fine if he catches us there because he can't do anything with it. What I need to do is just not slam the throttle and pull away from him on corner exit. Much better. Center so much better. All right, loosen it up. We're gonna be around the bottom and have to enter low and just gonna exit low. Get as wide as I can. Two laps left at the line. We're only going to get to one lap car. Two left to go. Two We're to go. negative three way tracker now. A uh, liter out of fuel? What? <laughs> He pulled left. I don't know what he's doing. Last lap. Shane got a good exit. Just can't let him have a good exit out of two. Point three, three, four. And there we go, P3, good race with Shane. Good race to everyone. We got that one all green, as usual with the silver crown. Good win to Chris. Good job. Good run to Sean. And yeah, that might be incident free too, unless there was something at the back we didn't see. That got a little scary at the end. 88-82. Um, yeah, temps were even though, so I'm good with that. I felt like I managed it just right. Like, at this point, I was feeling like really quick when I got ahead of Shane. We're doing 428, 5, and 5s, but I wasn't able to sustain it. Uh, we did a 3028 on 
on 73. The leaders were 432 and 465. But uh, just too long to get through the traffic, and uh, the leaders just checked out early on. So let's see if there was any incidents. Might have a wall hit or two. Blinking. There's Matthew into the wall. It's blinking most of the time. 14 drives it up into the wall. Blinking. And that's it. So, let's take a look at results. 22i rating, and we're at a 499 with zero incidents. So, not even close to having the fastest time, but we weren't going fast early on. We were just attempting to keep the car balanced so I didn't go too loose later. Uh, gearing might have hurt us there, I and mean, it was helping out of the corners as long as I could get the power down, but probably hurting us a little bit. But I think third's the best I can ask for. If we had qualified well, I think I'd still get third. So, uh, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.